Hello and welcome. Now it's quite possible that the categorization that Trello gives you will not necessarily do everything for you for your system. And if that's the case, you'll want to be able to use Trello's custom fields. Now in order to create custom fields, we're going to go inside of one of the cards. Now in order to create a custom field, we're going to go inside of the board menu and we're going to use a Trello power up. We've already enabled the Evernote power note, so we're going to disable it. And then we're going to scroll up. We're going to find the Trello custom fields and we're going to click enable. Once we click enable, then custom fields will be available inside of our cards. So we're going to close up our power ups menu. And we're going to go inside of one of our cards. And you'll notice here that instead of Evernote, you have custom fields available. And so we're going to click create custom field. And then we're going to actually give that field a name. Once we give our custom field a name, we can choose the kind that we actually want. We can use text, a number, a checkbox, a date, or a dropdown. We are going to actually use the checkbox. And we can also choose to show this custom field on the front of the actual card. And so in this particular case, we're going to go ahead and save it and save it to the front of the card. We'll then click Save. So we now have our custom field. We'll then click Save. And now what we want to do is we want to go to the front of the card. But before we go to the front of the card, we're going to enable the Desk Reminder field. And now we're going to click the X. And you'll see that our field is there on our card on the front face. So we can actually go back in and create another custom field. In this case, we're going to click Create Custom Field. We're going to add a field. We're going to create a date related field. So we have our name. We're then going to call this a date field. We're also going to show it on the front of the card. We're going to click Save. And now that we have our custom field, we're going to make sure that there's a date and a time in. Then we're going to click Save. The date reminded and cancel is now available and going to be available on our front page. We're then going to click the X. You'll see then that that second custom field is now available on our card on the front of the face. So custom fields will allow you additional flexibility in creating the kind of fields that you want to use that will give your system the exact categorization that you want to have. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.